for any new uh, viewers, new subscribers, anybody who hasn't seen it yet, here's the cookbook. I'll let Mama show it to you. Yeah, it's got me and one of my chickens on it. And it says, my mama's secret recipe and love. And that's what my secret recipe is, love. With gravy, it's coffee. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. And uh, then we got we open it up. It's got a plastic binding on it. It's made with um, some kind of shiny paper. It's like a laminated it. almost. Yeah, laminated almost. And there's a story how me and uh, Corey got started in uh, cooking on the YouTube it started with my chickens, and it's got pictures of uh, me and little miss, and me and Corey, and this is Corey when he was a baby with Papa and with me, and there's me and Milton when we started our Sunday message. We done it outside last summer, and uh, we had a hot dog um, community giveaway uh, down at our church, and uh, these were the people that helped me and Corey. And uh, then the rest of it here, uh, it tells the main dishes in it, what all we have in it. You see right here, so. My mama's secret recipe. This tells the um, index of it. I can't read them little ones. Yeah, it's it uh, main dishes, side dishes, and desserts. Yeah, I don't have my glasses on it. But then you just go over through here and, and it uh, shows the main dishes and going over tells you the desserts and stuff, you know. But, uh, yeah, it's just got our recipes in it. Right here is a side dish. This is the, can't read the little writing. It's cat head biscuit recipe. Oh, cat head biscuits. That's my cat head biscuits. That's what the, one of the men called my biscuits in church because I made them so big. And uh, it's got... Um, it's got almost 100 recipes. I think it's got 98 recipes in it. That's why I was going to look on that uh, and see. There's 98 pages, so it's probably close to 98 recipes. Yeah. Because some of the pages are not recipes. You can tell them how many pages on each one. Yeah, it goes, uh, there's, from 9 to 44 is main dishes, 47 to 70 is side dishes, and then 73 to 98 is desserts. So that's our cookbook. And we're selling them for $30 a piece. Uh, and uh, we'll pay the shipping. We send yeah. it out to y'all and we'll pay the shipping. We throw a tea and a few other extra things in there like cards and bookmarkers and stuff. We put in there extra with it and we pay the shipping and any uh, shipping cost. So it's just $30 for the book and that's it. Yeah. And you could send it in PayPal. Here's the information here. If you wanted to order one, then you could send it to the P.O. Box here. You could send money order, a check, cash, whatever you want to send. That's up to you, but you send it to this P.O. box and make sure to put your address on the inside of the card so yeah. we can read your address and we'll send it out to you the next day after we get it. And if you don't have uh, that stuff, if you don't have a way to send it like that, then, and you have PayPal or Cash App, if you want to send it this way, that's fine too. You could send it to this PayPal or this Cash App. And as soon as we get it, make sure to put your uh, address in the order whenever you send the money through cash app or paypal you could put your address there and we'll send it out i'll picture it and we'll send it out as soon as we get it hello everybody here's my mom all and she's going to be making a sausage muffin for y'all today and here's all the ingredients everything that you'll need but i'll let her walk you through it step by step and explain to you how to make it the first thing you do is you get your sausage a pound of sausage and you cook your sausage up and I get it good and done. And then you uh, take it and... So this has already been cooked. This is a yeah. just finished cooking and it's one pound. These packs right here is exactly one pound. Yeah, and we're gonna put it in our uh, pan here. Just pour it in here. We'll mix it all up and put it in the muffin pan. And this will be our breakfast. So, and it calls for, um, you gotta spray your pans, your muffins. You can use whatever type of oil that you like. This just happens to be olive oil. Yeah, I have, I have a little bit of everything. I have different kinds. I love the spray. And then you just mix all your ingredients together 
you have four eggs. You put them in here. This is these four. are farm fresh eggs. Yeah, farm fresh eggs. But you could use any kind that you like. You can use yeah. regular white eggs. Yeah, just eggs. The farm fresh eggs are a little bit stronger than the store bought eggs. And then uh, you put your uh, cheese in here. This is medium cheddar. You could use any kind that you like, though. You could use mild cheddar, mozzarella. I'm sure it would be fun. Yeah. Pepper just... jack if you want them a little spicy. I don't even need that. Let me see. Just stir it up. Then you add your uh, your bisquick. I think it's a cup, right? Yeah. This is a uh, one cup of this bisquick. You pour it in there and stir it up. Mix it real well. And then we're going to put it in the... It don't call for salt. I usually use salt, but it don't call for salt. Yeah, so I think I this can... sausage is probably salty already. Yeah. If it needs salt, when we taste it, we'll put salt in it. Yeah. That's the way we do it. And this says this calls... We'll make 12. We're going to make uh, one and put it... See how much it takes of it. Yeah, and we'll make the other pan off camera. Yeah. If there's extra. Now, like I said, this is the first time I've made this too. You know. Something like it, but not quite like this. Yeah, I've made something really similar to this before, but it was a corned muffin. It was cornbread muffin sausage muffins. Yeah. And it was called breakfast muffin. But it was a, like a cornbread thing. This yeah. is a pancake mix. Yeah. Yeah, I think the, uh, this this is a big muffin pan here that I have. It says uh, 12, but if you got a great big deep, it's real deep. Real deep. Uh, it'll take all this. So... Yeah, eggs are good for you. And I, like I've told y'all before, I like my meat. So. But me, if you eat a lot of meat, it's not good for you, though. I remember years ago, we had uh, pork. We had uh, beef. A lot of it for uh, his dad and... And uh, Milton them killed a cow and a pig. Milton ate too much of the... I always do this. That's what my mom taught me to do. You know, for cakes. And then we put it in 350 in the oven. 350. And it, I think it said it took about 30 minutes. 20 minutes, it says. 20 minutes until golden brown. And then you take it out and let it cool. What I was telling you about the meat was that uh, Milton, that's when he was working, and uh, we had sausage and uh, eggs of the morning when he uh, went to work, and then uh, I would fix him uh, sandwiches with uh, the beef or a hamburger or something like that, and at the evening when he come in, we'd have uh, like uh, potatoes and some kind of meat and beans or something like that, you know, and uh, he got so that... Uh, uh, he started uh, bleeding from the bowels, and the doctor told him. Well, that's what it was, man. He was bleeding when you uh, ate too much meat. Yeah. Yeah. He was bleeding, and the doctor told him to, and I thought that sounded silly to me. Quit eating pork. And he told him to quit eating pork and so much meat. Yeah, quit eating any kind of meat, but don't eat no pork. Yeah. He said, told him to quit eating any kind of meat, but don't eat no pork. And uh, so he done that, and he got better. You know, he's eating too much meat. So, you can overdo things. You have to be careful about things. But, I love meat. <laughs> that is my, meat and potatoes, that's what I like, you know. But, uh, these will be done in about 20 minutes, and we'll come back and show you what they look like and taste like. Right? <laughs> yeah, and we'll show y'all whenever she takes them out here in just a minute. And she's, y'all make sure to stay tuned because she's going to read a few scriptures for y'all, I think, at the end of yeah. this video. 
So y'all stay tuned for that and make sure to like and subscribe if you're still watching the video at this part. But we love y'all and be right back. Yeah. All right, we're back y'all. She's gonna get it out of the oven for y'all now and show y'all what it looks like after it's fully cooked. It's been in here about 20 minutes. Uh, on 350. Yeah, on 350. It's golden brown. So we're gonna set it in here, let it cool, and uh, we're gonna be doing some reading, and then we're gonna be drawing names for the giveaway. Yeah, we're gonna do the drawing in, at the end of this video. And this is not all the stuff we're putting in the box. She's gonna fill it all the way up. We're gonna put a bunch more stuff in there, yeah. like some Easter candies and maybe a few other things until it's yeah. filled up. And we'll send it out to whoever wins. We'll do the drawing at the end of this video. Yeah. So y'all make sure to stay tuned for that. Yeah, so while that's cooling right now, we're going to be uh, reading. I'm going to be reading in Luke 23. It talks about uh, Jesus dying on the cross. Uh, I read the first part of it uh, uh, the other day. So now I'm going to read this part. And then uh, probably uh, Saturday, I'll be reading uh, about him coming out of the tomb. It says, uh, I'm starting with the uh, 44th verse. Amen. Amen. Are you in there? Yeah. We're videoing. <laughs> I thought he done went to the post office. <laughs> it says, Jesus dies on the cross. Um, this is in uh, Luke, uh, the 23rd chapter and uh, 44th verse. Uh, it says, and it was about the sixth there, and there was a darkness over all the earth until the ninth there. And the sun was darkened, and the veil of the temple was rent in the mist. Uh, and when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, he said, Father, into thy hands I command my spirit. And having said thus, he gave up the ghost. Uh, now when the satyrian, that was the Roman soldier, uh, saw what was done, he glorified God, saying, Certainly this was a righteous man. Um, and all the people that came together to that sight, beholding the things which were done, smote their breasts and returned, and all his acquaintance and the women that followed him from Galilee stood afar off, beholding these things. And behold, there was a man named Joseph, a counselor, and he was a good man and a just. The same had not consented to the counsel and deed of them. He was of Arimathea, a city of the Jews, who also himself waited for the kingdom of God. This man went into Pilate and begged the body of Jesus, and he took it down and wrapped it in linen, and laid it in a scepter that was hewn in stone. And the uh, way I've read it before, it was his own, uh, 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 what he called scepter, where he was going to be buried at. That was hewn in stone, wherein never must, never man before was lain. And that day was the preparation, and the Sabbath drew on. And the women also which came from him from Galilee followed afar, follow after and beheld the scepter and how his body was lain and they returned and prepared spices and ointments and rested the sabbath day according to the commandment uh, and then uh, i'll be reading later on about him raising from the uh, grave and uh, in here it talks about the dying criminal had uh, more faith than many of jesus followers although the disciples continued to love jesus their hopes for the kingdom was shattered most of them had gone into hiding, as one of his followers sadly said two days later. We trusted that it had been he which should have redeemed Israel. By contrast, the criminal looked at the man who was dying next to him and said, Lord, remember me then when thou comest into thy kingdom. By all appearance, the kingdom was finished. How Ah, inspiring is the faith of this just man, of this man who alone saw beyond the present shame to the coming glory of God. He had faith knowing that God was going to, uh, was a, a just man, you know, and uh, that he would be coming back one day. But he went to glory with him. He didn't, um, a lot of people think you have to uh, be baptized and uh, they don't believe in deathbed repentance. But now this way here tell, uh, talks different. You know, I think if you uh, believe in the Lord and you uh, trust in the Lord and you ask the Lord uh, to forgive you, he does forgive you. You don't have to be baptized. You don't have to be serving the Lord a long time. Uh, it's good to do that, 
you know. But uh, God has love for everyone, and he will accept you when you uh, ask forgiveness, no matter when it is. And you don't really have to be baptized. It, it's, uh, he recommends it to, be bab to do that, but because uh, he was baptized his, himself, and he is our example. So, uh, and I'll read more later on. And here is our prayer book. Uh, I want to pray for everybody that's in their comments, want to be in my prayer book. So they're in our prayer book, and we're going to be praying for them. Dear Lord Jesus, we just come to you this morning, Lord, just loving you and praising you, Lord. Thanking you for always walking beside of us and taking care of us, Lord. Lord, you see each need out there that uh, needs to be met, Lord. We just ask you, Lord, to touch our YouTube family, Lord. Whatever their situation is, Lord, whatever their need is, Lord, uh, health or money or whatever, Lord Jesus, that they need, that you'll meet it, Lord Jesus. Uh, Lord, we love you and we honor and we thank you, Lord Jesus, for always being there for us when we call upon you. Ask you to have your way in this world, Lord Jesus. Uh, Lord, turn it around, Lord Jesus, for your good, Lord Jesus. But not our will, Lord, but your will be done. In Jesus' name we pray, and we give you the honor and glory. Amen. 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 God is good all the time. So uh, we're going to be doing a drawing. Um, we'll show you our muffins first, and then we'll draw the the drawing. Is that what we're going to do? Yeah. Okay. I'll scoot that down here, and we'll scoot this back. And we'll get one of these out and show you. See how easy it comes out, see? And they are big. This is a big, deep uh, um, muffin pan. I like it. And that's why you gotta be sure to spray your pan before you put the stuff in there or it won't come out easy like that. Yeah. See, let me, let me open it up so you can see how it looks. See there? The egg and the stuff in there. We'll see how it is. You know what would be better? Um, dazzle a little bit of syrup. Yeah. It'll be hot. <laughs> so it's got the pancakes mix in there. Mm -hmm. Syrup would go perfectly with it. Um, a little bit hot. But, um, yeah, I'll take your syrup and just drizzle a little bit over it. Just put a little bit of sweetness in there, and it would be perfect. So, now we're going to be doing the drawing. This is good. Y'all need to try it. It is real good. Now, for those of y'all who haven't seen the last uh, video where we, uh, showed all the cards we let all the cards on the table and showed every one of them and we talked about doing the drawing but now we're actually going to do the drawing and this is the stuff that we have in there that's going to be in the drawing as of right now we got one youtube t-shirt one apron and this uh little god bless truck. You america truck yeah it says god bless you america on it and what we're going to do we're just going to fix all this stuff turn it over Keep turning it over. And there's going to be a lot more stuff in this. We're going to fill it all the way to the top with yeah. all kinds of different gifts and stuff before we send it out. Yeah. And these are all the cards for the past month. We're going to be doing this every month at the end of each month. But these are all the cards from the past two months probably, and they just built up. So and we're going to do them all in this one. However many you send in, that's what we're going to put in here. Yeah. So now I'm going to close my eyes around down in here and see yeah. what we pull out. We're trying our best to make it as fair as possible. Yeah. We won't show the address or nothing. But. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Thelma Thomas so, is our winner. Thelma Thomas, if you're watching this, you won the package. We'll be putting a bunch more stuff in this for you. Yeah. And we'll be sending it out to you. Put the letter over there in there. Yeah. Well, here's your letter. We'll be sending it out to you as soon as we get it filled up. It'll probably be a couple days before we send it out to you. Yeah, but we do thank you. We uh, This is the only way we know how to say we're, we're really grateful and thankful for all that y'all have done to support our channel and, and been so good to us and, and uh, just showed us so much love, you know, and we really appreciate it, and we thank you for that because God is good, and I love the family of God, and I love our YouTube family. Y'all have just really been good to us. It's been, 
Well, I guess in June or July it'd be a year that we've been doing this. And God has really been good to us. And y'all have really been good to us. I mean, you just supported our channel so much, and we really appreciate it. And this is our way to show you that we love you and we thank you. Yeah. We'll be doing this once a month. Yeah, so everyone who sends a card between now and next month will be in the next drawing for next month. Yeah. And here's for the new viewers, new subscribers, anybody who hasn't seen it yet. You could send the, your card. It could just be a post-it note or with your address or anything you want to send. It don't have to be like an actual thank you card. It could just be anything that you want to send with your uh, address attached to it, and we'll put it in the drawing. Yeah. You just as long it. as... I envelope and just put your address in it. You know, that's all you have to do, and we'll put it in the drawing. Yeah. Uh, but be sure and put your address on the inside of your uh, envelope or your card, whatever, because the post office sometimes uh, marks over the uh, address, and I can't, I can't read it all. Yeah, so put your uh, address on the full address on the inside of the card. And, but this is the P.O. box. If y'all want to send uh, your card to the P.O. box... Then we'll get them there, and we'll we'll start a, another box. We'll yeah. have a fresh box for all the cards from this month. I save all my cards too. I got about two or three boxes of cards in there. I don't throw them away. I keep them. You know, I, they're just too pretty and uh, too personal, and I, I love letters, and I'm just gonna keep them. You know, I don't know what we'll do when I get a house full of letters. Yeah. <laughs> but I got about two boxes of letters. Yeah. So or thank you. Three. <laughs> yeah, thank y'all so much for all y'all's cards. It really means a lot to us. And we yeah, do yes. really appreciate everything that y'all do for us, no matter how big or small, even if it's not a card, just a yeah. simple comment. It means so much to us. It does. And we are very grateful. We really are. We thank you for everything. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful Easter. And um, just uh, walk in love with the Lord, you know, because the Lord's going to take care of us. This might be a wicked world. But God's going to take care of us. All we have to do is just love him and walk with him and trust him. So that's what y'all need to do. Amen. Yeah. That's all for this one. We love y'all. God bless y'all. Make sure to like and subscribe. And we'll see y'all on the next one. Amen.